My name is Sally Anero. I'm a senior data protection advisor in Taylor Wessing's international data protection practice working out of our London office. One of the questions that businesses are likely to be asking is what does Brexit mean for their data protection compliance generally but also in terms of uh, their obligations under a European law uh, that has already been agreed uh, and, and is already set to come into force. So at present we have a UK Data Protection Act that still applies and we know that the general data protection regulation that has been approved will be coming into force ahead of any decision that's made around Brexit. So for those of you who are planning for compliance with the general data protection regulation they should continue to do that. Post Brexit um, a business that's either established in Europe or is offering goods or services into Europe or is tracking or monitoring the behaviour of EU citizens will be caught by the extraterritorial reach of this new general data protection regulation. Uh, so they will need to be uh, processing personal information of individuals, personal data, in a way that complies with the new European law, regardless of whether our UK law reflects that standard. Businesses outside of Europe are uh, increasingly and often adopting EU data protection law as a benchmark against which uh, their wider uh, group and affiliates will, will, will adhere to. I think businesses should continue to uh, upscale their data protection compliance to meet the requirements of the GDPR because in one form or another uh, that is the standard that we will need to be complying with.